Well guys, I thought I would try to do something a little different today and do a little bit of narration as we're watching the video and maybe answer a few questions for you. Now the video that we have today is a trip up to the Carolina Rally and Potluck or CRAP for short in 2016. It's uh, at the old Gilliam Mill in Sanford, North Carolina. Now on the trip up it was about 360 miles or so and we decided to take back roads all the way and despite that we still ended up on about 10 miles of interstate by accident following the GPS. Now the footage that you see here is uh, sped up, it's time lapse, we didn't actually drive 1100 miles an hour. But uh, this is from my son's perspective on his BMW R75-6. He went up there with us, and you're following me in this video. I'm on the 2008 Ural Tourist. And we are approaching Saluda, South Carolina. I believe we go through Saluda in this footage and to the other side. And it was a, a very interesting, enjoyable trip off of the interstates. One of the questions I get quite often is, why did I get a Ural? Now, a Ural is a Russian motorcycle. It's been in production since about 1941. It is the pretty much the original World War II motorcycle that's out there. It's had a lot of updates to it. Uh, this is a 2008 Tourist, so it has a lot of modernization. Uh, metallurgy has been updated, new gears. It's, it's certainly not the same bike that was built in the 1940s, but it's based on largely the same plans. It, it is still pretty much a 1938 technology bike. So uh, how did I come across getting uh, and choosing a Ural with a sidecar? Well, I've been looking at three-wheelers for a while. I had ridden earlier in my life and had always wanted to get another motorcycle. Uh, you can see us now going through Saluda, South Carolina. But I uh, had always entertained getting one, but decided that I did want a three-wheel. And I looked at the trikes, I looked at the spiders, but there was just something about being able to take the dog with me, Benny, my Siberian Husky, and being able to have the sidecar over there if I wanted to have a passenger. That I liked, but the intrigue of the bike itself was also a big draw. And after doing a lot of research and reading and, and truly understanding the limitations of the bike, the, uh, the need of maintenance on the bike, things of that nature, I decided it was for me and I picked one up in October of 2015. The next question that usually comes up is how did my wife get her own Ural? And uh, it was kind of interesting. She wasn't interested in the rig at first, and I guess she saw the dog was having too much fun riding. But she told me one day, hey, if you'll take me to dinner, I'll ride in the sidecar. So I did, and she enjoyed it. And then the next thing she said was, I, I think I might want to get one of these to ride around. I'd love to, to ride with you on my own. So I told her if she learned how to ride a two-wheeler, uh, I'd get her a rig, and she did. She took the Harley-Davidson class, passed, uh, having never ridden a motorcycle before and got her driver's license. So um, I, I guess I had to take her seriously and I got her a 2010 patrol. You can see the videos where we kind of bring it back to a rideable condition after getting it. And she has really enjoyed riding it, putting more than 1,500 miles on it as, the, uh, as of this video. A uh, lot more miles coming up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the narration, let me know. I can certainly do more videos that way. And if you've got questions, post them. And I'll try to include them in a future video.